Well, it turns out the Iranian nuclear deal may have already cost a life. Tehran announcing it executed a prominent nuclear scientist who had apparently defected to the United States in 2009, only to return home one year later. He was hanged. The Iran regime says he, quote, provided the enemy, that's us, with vital information on the program. He was 40-year-old Shamran Amiri. U.S. officials told the AP he was paid $5 million for information on the nuclear program, only returned home claiming he was kidnapped by the U.S. government. But the opposition says he went home because the Iranian regime threatened his family. Why was he put to death? And what does that mean? Ambassador John Bolton joins us as always, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a Fox News contributor. Ambassador, why is Amiri's hanging so troubling and so significant? Well, there's obviously a lot we don't know here, and it's the kind of uh, episode that makes uh, counterintelligence officials uh, crazy because the possibilities are nearly infinite. Uh, the, the story that appears to be most accurate is that Amiri uh, was an agent in place for us at the Iranian nuclear weapons program over time, giving us information that eventually, uh, for reasons still unclear, he decided to defect to the United States. Uh, but then, for reasons which are also not clear, he defected back to Iran. Perhaps he got homesick. Uh, we shouldn't laugh at that. That can happen to defectors. Perhaps the Ayatollahs threatened or blackmailed his family members and colleagues. When he returned to Iran, uh, he was hailed as a hero, a double agent, the Iranians said, that they had planted uh, to actually to get information about us. So uh, killing him uh, a short time thereafter is some indication their story was put up. But uh, I think it demonstrates just how uh, deadly serious the Iranian nuclear weapons program is and just how high the stakes are. Deadly is the correct uh, point. I mean, there are emails that the Associated Press has to Mrs. Clinton. She was Secretary of State handling this case at the time. Between Mrs. Clinton and Jake Sullivan, uh, one of her aides, and the Associated Press quotes uh, one of those emails as follows, saying, this is back in 2010, saying, quote, the gentleman, meaning uh, Amiri, has apparently gone to his country's interest section because he is unhappy with how much time it has taken to facilitate his departure. This could lead to problematic news stories in the next 24 hours. Do you think they were more concerned with news stories, the way that this would appear in the public, when letting him go is sending him to certain death? Well, I have to consider myself a pretty hardened veteran of Washington, but even I was shocked by that. Uh, really, it's so typical of the Hillary Clinton operation. It is all about optics, and it is all about uh, politics. Uh, ha how this was handled and, and the, the, uh, uh, the consequences for the United States, the possibility that other uh, U.S. or friendly agents uh, inside Iran may have been rolled up uh, when this person went back to Iran, the consequences for our ability, uh, not through international observers, but through our own intelligence capabilities uh, to know what's going on in the Iranian nuclear weapons and ballistic missile programs could have been compromised. There's a lot more at stake here than whether Hillary Clinton was going to get a bad news story. Do we just give up an asset, you know, let someone who uh, helped us and sacrifice them? Well, you know, I, I think if somebody voluntarily says, I want to go back home, we're not in the business of keeping them. And by the way, just uh, for the record, the notion that, uh, that we somehow kidnapped this fella and brought him to the United States, which the mullahs in Tehran are claiming, that's fanciful too. Uh, but on the other hand, the idea that, uh, that we, we allowed him to be put in this position is very troubling. And it mirrors other mistakes that Mrs. Clinton has made as with the uh, Chinese barefoot lawyer Chen Guangcheng, who defected to the U.S. Embassy in Beijing, was then sent back out again at the, the Secretary, Secretary Clinton's request, and then had to be brought back into American protection later after being put in jeopardy. So it's, uh, it's it, uh, I'm afraid, par for the course for her. 30 seconds left. What should we have done? What do you fear? What does this mean? Well, if, uh, in fact, uh, Amiri was a legitimate defector to the United States, we should have been doing things to protect his family in Iran or get them out. All of that should have been considered before he was released. This business of how we handle defectors, largely an intelligence question, but enormous national security implications, 
Uh, Hillary Clinton's role, hard, hard to see at this point. It's going to be very interesting to see what her explanation is. You know, and finally, uh, talk about his family. The, uh, the Iranian opposition, the National Council of Resistance of Iran, has a stunning statement out. Uh, they say, Amiri's execution is a desperate attempt by the Supreme Leader Khomeini to intimidate and terrorize the regime's nuclear experts and scientists to prevent them from leaving the country after the nuclear deal. Engulfed in serious domestic and external crises and facing growing popular discontent and opposition at home, the regime has had to deal with unprecedented defections within its own ranks. I mean, that actually says this could be a message to uh, uh, other nuclear scientists in the regime, you know, leave, help the, help the enemy that's us at your own peril, and you'll end up just like he did. Yeah, well, the uh, MEK has long known a lot about the inside of the nuclear weapons program in Iran, and they've been right in, in every material respect in the public statements they've made. So I think their concern here should be taken very seriously, certainly by our intelligence services, by Israel, by the Saudis, and by others. Uh, so much for the nuclear deal one year ago changing the behavior of the Ayatollahs. Not a bit of it. Not a bit of it. This is such a, a sad symbol uh, of the tragedy uh, of this case. Ambassador John Bolton, always good to see you. Thank you, as always, for Thank your you, insight. Thank you, Eric. Of course.